On Apple Valley News Now, a lawsuit regarding the future of the Lower Snake River. What a new document says about plans moving forward. And more cold temperatures outside with fog and freezing fog and preparing for some snow showers headed our direction. I'll have all the details on my first alert weather forecast. And we have an update on the concerns over reports of bullying in the West Valley School District. Learn what officials said at last night's meeting. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. We start with a weather alert day. We're enduring stagnant air, which means diminished air quality. Also, the National Weather Service in Pendleton predicts snow to fall in our region tomorrow. Let's get right to Stacy Lee, who is tracking the latest developments in her first alert forecast. That's right, Jill. Let's talk about our winter weather advisories going on right now, Thursday through Sunday. Officially, again, the Cascade Mountains from the top of Washington all the way down into Oregon. Heavy snow expected. In fact, 10 to 20 inches of snow over the weekend that, uh, accumulation above uh, 5,000 feet. We can see 30 inches, so that's several feet of snow. We're also tracking strong gusty winds. We'll see blizzard like conditions around the Mount Hood area, so be aware of that if you're planning on heading out to one of those ski resorts over the weekend and the Blue Mountains. Again, we could see 10 to 20 inches there as well. Here's our storm track as it sets up. This is what it's going to look like tomorrow. This upper level system that's round one, and we've got several more rounds coming in over the next couple of days, so be prepared for all of that. What are we going to see in the lower elevations? Well, a little skiff of snow here, but we could see up to an inch over the next couple of days of accumulation. Here's that air stagnation advisory that remains in place for tonight. Let's take a look at our Legends Casino Sky Cam. Right now, 32 degrees, cloudy skies, winds at three miles per hour. Grab your coat. Our feels like temp is 29. Lots more to talk about. We get to our full first alert weather forecast. Jill. Thank you, Stacy. Controversy continues to follow negotiations in an ongoing lawsuit over the future of the Lower Snake River dams, with the release of a confidential mediation document about potential options moving forward. Some media outlets have called that document a leaked secret plan, showing that Biden administration is preparing for dam breaching. But Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us that's not the case. Federal lawmakers have made the full document available online, so I was able to go through it. But nowhere in there did I see any definitive statement regarding whether or not the government is actually planning to breach the dams. What was included was the government's desire to improve salmon populations in the region, and essentially a list of funding or resources agencies are willing to contribute to make it happen. Federal lawmakers have responded by sending a letter to the Biden administration asking for clarification on the contract contents of the document and what it means for their overall plans for the dams. Questions include why energy assistance seems to be restricted for certain tribes and what their official position is now on dam breaching. Coming up at six, I'll explain more about what's actually in that document and about how stakeholders, including power companies, are responding to the new information. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. State officials are, hearing, are nearing a final decision on the controversial Horse Heaven Wind Farm. The proposal would bring more than 200 wind turbines to the hills south of the Tri-Cities. Advocates say the wind farm would create hundreds of jobs and enough electricity to power tens of thousands of homes. But opponents say it would also impact tens of thousands of acres of Benton County farmland and could pose a threat to local wildlife. The project has faced intense scrutiny from the state. The Washington State Energy Facility Site Evaluation Council is expected to make a final recommendation in December on whether to approve the project. Governor Inslee will have the final say on whether to move forward, and we could get that decision in January of next year. We continue to follow the ongoing concerns from parents about how the West Valley School District responds to reports of bullying. At a meeting earlier this month, the mom of a 13-year-old boy who's faced repeated bullying and death threats spoke out again, saying in no uncertain terms that the issue with her son had not been resolved. At last night's meeting, Superintendent Peter Finch responded, saying they couldn't talk publicly about specific bullying incidents, citing the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, or FERPA. Well, the superintendent did schedule a meeting with the parent and family to get more information about the incident and to listen to parent concerns. That meeting was held yesterday. Uh, the school district is committed to providing a safe learning environment for all students. 
and the district will continue to focus on improvements to uh, in regarding to student bullying, including documentation and follow up. We're reaching out to both the family of that student and the superintendent about what came out of that meeting. You can find more coverage on this issue on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. The trial of a former Pasco police officer accused of killing a Spokane woman nearly 40 years ago is underway. Richard Aguirre waived his right to a jury trial and will leave his fate in the hands of a judge. He's accused of killing Ruby Doss in 1986 in Spokane. Aguirre was accused of another crime where he had, give it, had to give his DNA and it matched DNA near the scene of Doss's murder. Aguirre was tried for the murder in 2021 and that ended in a mistrial. Prosecutors say the DNA is central in this case, saying it points to Aguirre. The defense agrees DNA is important, but, it's, but points to mishandling of the evidence as being key. A Superior Court judge in Benton and Franklin counties is facing disciplinary action by the Commission on Judicial Conduct. Judge Samuel Swanberg is accused of violating the Code of Judicial Conduct due to a pattern of domestic violence, according to the Commission. The Commission claims Swanberg violated Canon 1, Rules 1.1, complying with the Law 1.2, promoting integrity and avoiding impropriety, and 1.3, abusing the judicial office to advance personal interests. Swanberg, who was acquitted domestic violence charges in 2022, has 21 days to answer the formal charges. The Yakima County Coroner has determined what caused the death of a man at the Yakima County Jail. 41-year-old Hien Trung Hua suffered a complication with his heart, which may have been ongoing with having heart disease, according to Coroner Jim Curtis. Curtis says it appears his death is accidental. He also says the complication happened while Hua was involved in a confrontation with corrections staff. But the death remains under investigation by the Special Investigative Unit. A local mental health treatment advocate has now written a book talking about her own experience losing a child after a battle with addiction. Michelle Gerber says she wrote Witness to Addiction in the hopes that more people will start to understand the ongoing drug crisis. She's also hoping to reduce some of the fear and stigma around addiction. We need to understand this addiction is a brain disease and the people that are afflicted because the chemicals have changed their brains. Um, they're not going to respond sometimes to the normal kinds of consequences or logic that we would expect. Gerber has been a leading voice in the push to get an addiction treatment center built here in the Tri-Cities, which is still in progress right now. Former President Jimmy Carter attended private funeral services today for his late wife, Rosalind Carter, died at age 96 on November 19th. Today's service for the late former First Lady took place at Maranatha Baptist Church in Plains, Georgia. It included tributes from Mrs. Carter's sons and scripture readings done by some of her great-grandchildren. Former President Jimmy Carter is 99 years old. Despite being in hospice care, he attended today's private services and Tuesday's memorial in Atlanta. In business news, the country's economic growth got stronger in the third quarter than forecast. The Commerce Department has predicted growth of just below 5 percent. According to a new department estimate, gross domestic products rose at an annualized rate of 5.2 percent from July through September. The GDP is the broadest measure of economic output. Pharmacy chain Rite Aid will close 31 stores across a dozen states. That includes stores in three locations in Washington and two locations in Oregon. This marks part of the chain's restructuring efforts. After the closures, Rite Aid will still operate 2,000 stores across the nation. The company has had nearly $3 billion in losses tallied over the past six years, and its stock price is down more than 90 percent for the year. Home prices rose in September for the eighth month in a row. Mortgage rates also remained above 7 percent in September. A low number of homes for sale pushed prices higher. Home prices remain at an all-time high in several American cities. In fact, they grew nearly 7 percent in September in Detroit, San Diego and New York. GM says it will reduce spending on autonomous vehicles. That after one struck a pedestrian earlier this year. 
The company's CEO called for more deliberate development of the company's cruise vehicles and says GM will spend less on them next year. Production of the company's origin vans, which have no driver seat, foot pedals or steering wheel, has, has been suspended. The California DMV accuses GM of withholding evidence from the recent collision, which GM denies. The DMV says a cruise vehicle in San Francisco hit a, and dragged a pedestrian who'd been thrown into its path. College and university leaders, along with members of the community, gathered for the State of Higher Education luncheon today in the Tri-Cities. WSU Tri-Cities Chancellor Dr. Sandra Haynes, CBC President Dr. Rebecca Woods, and Heritage University President Dr. Andrew Sun presented. They focused their discussions on what each campus is doing to close the skills gap, recruitment, and the use of artificial intelligence. The event was hosted by the Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce. High tech for the holidays. Learn how artificial intelligence will assist with Christmas shopping this year. It's bitterly cold outside and tomorrow we could see some snow around our region. Stacy Lee is tracking your first alert forecast. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in Tri-Cities. Details on the winter wonderland taking shape in Richland. You're watching Apple Valley News Now at 5. Throw away your distance and reading glasses. Join Doctors King and Kopstein for a free live webinar December 7th at noon and find out if RLE is right for you. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Some know it as prime rib. Officially, it's called a ribeye roast. We call ours divine. Tender, mouth-watering Hereford beef Aged five weeks to absolute perfection. Oven ready and easy. Divine Beef Ribeye Roast. Reserve yours immediately, exclusively at Yolks Fresh Markets. With the winter months approaching, it's that time of year to do what we can to provide the best holiday season to the little ones in our valley. From now to the end of the year, Pingree Ford will be collecting new and gently used coats for Coats for Kids as well as new unwrapped toys for Toys for Tots. We're committed to the children in our community and we hope you can join us in our mission. Come see us today and feel the power of Pingree. Ooh, the DQ Cheeseburger Lover's Deal is back. Two single cheeseburgers for only five bucks or two double cheeseburgers for just seven bucks? For real? Oh, tell me it's as good as it looks. Deal this good speaks for itself, I guess. But you better get it before it's gone. DQ, happy tastes good. Tonight, finding and freeing all the hostages in Gaza. What will it take? Plus, tracking the bitter cold sweeping across the country. More Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. Even Santa and his rowdy reindeer can't lasso this deal. Only Legends Casino Hotel can deliver a shiny new Volkswagen Jetta Sport or Atlas Crossport under your tree. Well, maybe not under the tree. That's a tough fit. But you can't win if you don't play. Using your Legends Rewards card during December's Cash and Car Roundup. Heck, that's another present missing from Santa's saddlebags. Cash. Like, like thousands of dollars in cash. Given away every Thursday in December. Leave the kids' toys to Santa. Let Legends Casino Hotel deliver you cash and VW cars this year. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back. It is time to ring in the high-tech holidays this season. Artificial intelligence is set to help shoppers search for the perfect present. Gloria Pasmino has more on how and where AI is being used. Buying real gifts with the help of artificial intelligence. We have this new Google AI powered gifting tool. As Lillian Rincon with Google Shopping explains, when buyers engage with Google's generative AI, they can discover items with just a few words. 
I'm shopping for my seven-year-old daughter, um, who's very picky, you know, and uh, she wants to be a scientist and inventor. And so I can actually query for exactly that. Thomas Germain from Gizmodo says the more these AI tools learn, the better it is for the shopper's experience. Right now, you kind of have to know what you're looking for. You need to know the name of the product or have a really accurate description. With these AI tools, the better that they get, the idea is ultimately they'll be able to help do the thinking for you. But shoppers, beware. Experts say if you opt in. It gives powerful corporations a lot more power, the power to make a prediction, the power to understand what is going to be the most effective bid in a transaction, what price you're willing to pay. As for how some of those gifts get to you, AI is helping with that too. In this holiday season, some customers will receive their packages that are picked, packed, or sorted by robots. Peter Chen from Covarian explains that AI-powered robots can pump out around 3,000 packages an hour. Human hands? About 300 to 400. In New York, I'm Gloria Pasmino. Skiers and snowboarders can soon hit the slopes. Crystal Mountain's ski resort will open this weekend. Over on US 2, Stevens Pass had hoped to open Friday, but has since chosen to postpone that. While some resorts hope for more snow, the mayor of the town of Skykomish hopes the snow doesn't fall, uh, all fall at the same time. Kind of a, a Goldilocks zone, right? Yeah. We want snow, but not too much snow, just the yeah. right amount. Yeah, too much down here is not good either because it, it overwhelms everything. The summit at Snoqualmie has not yet announced an opening due, uh, date due to a lack of snow. Historically, it opens its slopes by December 5th. Well, the Christmas season is upon us and this weekend marks the kickoff to Richland's annual event celebrating the holiday. The final decorations are going up at John Don Plaza in preparation for the 8th annual Winter Wonderland. The opening weekend begins at 5.30 Friday evening and includes a lighted vehicle parade, the lighting of the park, and musical performances. We have the Master Singers, mid columbia Master Singers performing. We have food trucks and vendors. We'll have some kettle corn and hot cocoa going on and uh, a big countdown at 6 o'clock to light up the park. You'll also be able to find the newest Alphabet Home replica, the Richland Players Theater at the Alphabet Home Village. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Well, for the ski resorts that need snow, their prayers are being answered this coming uh, next couple of days. Here's what's going on on the Pacific. Look at all that active weather, and that's all headed our direction over the next couple of days. So that sl system slowly starts to move in overnight. Most of our area is covered in clouds and low fog. We've been dealing with air stagnation that continues through tomorrow morning. Here's our weather pattern for the next couple of days. That system starts moving on shore tomorrow morning. It'll start hitting the uh, cast Cascade Mountains by mid morning there and by, by midday it should be over the mountains into our area. Early evening they'll look for snow right about the time that we get to drive home. This is a the tomorrow's pattern. Then the next system moves in on Friday, an even bigger system than that. And there's yet another one out on the Pacific. So that's the pattern for the next couple of days. Let's time things out a little closer with our future cast model. Again, here it comes. This is tomorrow morning. You'll see that moving across I-5, moving into the Cascade Mountains. By about 2 o'clock, we'll start to see some snowflakes or some rain showers falling in the Yakima Valley down in the Columbia River Gorge. And by drive time, right around 5, 6 o'clock in the Tri-Cities and down the Yakima Valley, we're going to start to see snowfall here uh, all the way down into Hermiston and some rain mix with snow. Rain showers in Pendleton switching over to snow showers by the evening. And then we'll see those uh, impacts here in the Blue Mountains. Next system, well, get ready for that. This is Friday morning. Here it comes again across into the Yakima Kittitas Valley down the uh, down the uh, basin into the Columbia Basin, I should say, moving its way to the east out to the foothills of the Blues. We'll see rain showers and snow, heavy snow at times in the Cascades. And here comes another one on Saturday. So it's storm after storm after storm. Our future cast models are trying to predict just how much we're going to get. Now in the lower elevations, we should see less than an inch. But uh, this first little band by Friday morning, you'd see up to nine inches there in the Cascade Mountains. That's the White Pass. Mount Rainier area will have a lot of snow 
snow. Then as we get into our Saturday morning, look at this. We could see about an inch of accumulation here. We could see already a couple of feet of snow here in the Cascade Mountains down in the Columbia River Gorge. Heavy snow falling there in the Blue Mountains as well. Took in at possibly a foot of snow there. So not time to th start thinking about your winter driving a supply kit for your car. You should have all these items and be ready for delays. Uh, have extra blankets, your flashlights, your first aid kits, the snacks, phone chargers, kitty litter in case you get stuck, extra batteries, and of course some water and food. So think about that. Now if you are going to be traveling over to the west side the next couple of days, going to be raining there 100% chance every day through Saturday. The trick is getting across Snoqualmie Pass. That's going to be tricky at times over the weekend. If you're heading into Portland area, again, Columbia River Gorge is going to have some snow, especially around the Hood River area. Tricky travel there as well. And if you're planning on heading up into Spokane, I will warn you that uh, on Friday we're going to have rain mixed with snow. And uh, our trooper Thorson said earlier in the week, this is some of the most haz hazardous driving creates those slick roads. 32 degrees, Dust Devil Sky Cam tonight. Our feels like temp 29. It's chilly out there. Grab your coat. Here's our overnight lows around the region tonight, well below the freezing level with fog and freezing fog possible overnight this evening. Let's take a look at those daytime highs for tomorrow. We stay chilly again. We're going to be uh, covered with clouds until we start to see that active weather moving in. So temperatures staying below freezing just slightly above in Hermiston and Tri Cities. Yakima staying at 31, 32 in Toppenish. So lots going on weather wise. Again, if you're traveling in the next several days, you want to be prepared and make sure you check those past reports. I'll get to your full seven day planning forecast coming up here in just a few minutes. Jill. Up next, we have them in Washington State. Learn why Wolverines have been added to the endangered list. You're watching Apple Valley News now at five. Portions of Apple Valley News now sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Whether you celebrate holiday road trips in a Cadillac CT5, Promising festive joy around every corner. Or unexpected cheer in a Cadillac CT4. This holiday season, Cadillac is celebrating you. Get 2.9% APR plus 500 purchase allowance on most 2024 Cadillac CT4 and CT5 models. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. No insurance? No problem. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, our membership plan starts at just $79 and costs only $35 a month. That's two cleanings, x-rays, and much more for just $35 a month. Learn more at WRFDC.com or PDPNW.com. Find us at one of our two locations, West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco. Stunning smiles for the whole family. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. This holiday season, celebrate with historic downtown Prosser. On Friday, December 1st, join us for a festive evening of fun for the whole family. Snap a photo with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Watch the live Christmas tree lighting and enjoy food and drink from local vendors. Make merry and celebrate the season with us. Visit historicprosser.com for more information. It's Mattress Depot USA's November sales event. Meaning no money down and no interest for up to three years on our best-selling mattresses. Like a queen plush Sealy mattress for just $3.99. Or an adjustable bed for just $9.99. Or a king size memory foam mattress for just $7.99. Visit our showrooms or shop online at mattressdepotusa.com. But hurry, our November sales event ends soon. Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA. Friday on Apple Valley News Now. It's the final Pac-12 championship game as 11-1 Oregon takes on the undefeated Washington Huskies. The Ducks, the Huskies, the Pac-12 championship. Friday at 5 on Apple Valley News Now. 
Welcome back. We have them in Washington's Cascade Mountain Range. Now the North American Wolverine will receive federal protection. The critter has been listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. That according to U.S. Fish and Game officials. The decision comes as a result of climate change. According to scientists, warming temperatures continue to shrink mountain snowpack that wolverines rely on for food, reproduction and survival. The animal's habitat remains healthy in Canada and Alaska. Now here's a, a preview of what's ahead in about five minutes on World News Tonight with David Muir. Tonight, finding and freeing all the hostages in Gaza. What will it take? Plus, tracking the bitter cold sweeping across the country. More Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. If you missed out on getting a McRib in the past, here's your chance to get one before you miss out again. The McRib returns. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Throw away your distance and reading glasses. Join Drs. King and Kopstein for a free live webinar December 7th at noon and find out if RLE is right for you. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right, all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Toyota Thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid. RAV4. Tundra. And more. Wow. What's next? I knew I was forgetting something. She's a wizard. Toyota. Let's go places. For 25 years, you have chosen Smart Law as your legal team. Times may change, but our commitment to you remains the same. We believe everyone has the right to exceptional legal representation. From all of us at Smart Law, we thank you for your trust and will continue to serve and fight for our clients and their loved ones. Smart Law, smart choice. You know, there's millions of people without the health insurance they need. I get it. You feel like it's too pricey, a headache to deal with, and not worth it. You deserve something better and better. We're on a mission to get everyone high-quality health insurance. We have plans with as low as $0 out-of-pocket premiums, a network of local doctors, and a rewards program for making healthy choices. Nice. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. So call us or go online now. And better health. On a mission for better. Wigs Bistro and Martini Bar. We're shaking things up. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back. Let's take a look at uh, a final look at the weather. Stacy. I know it's the end of November, <laughs> but I'm not ready for what's about to come. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> so it's going to start off a little bit bad and not be too bad, but let's take a look at our planning forecast. So we've got that fog and freezing fog, and then we'll start to see the rain and snow develop later tomorrow afternoon, a little earlier in the Yakima Valley. Rain mixed with snow, very possible. Take a look at those temperatures, though. We start jumping up. In fact, we're going to warm way up. Although the rain and moisture will continue here in the lower elevations, we won't be seeing the snow. Uh, we'll get out of that threat of snow after Friday. So there you go. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, though, next week, 
Look at all that rain coming. So I yeah, know. it's literally storm after storm after storm coming our direction. Now the mountains are a different picture and we're talking we could see up to 30 inches of snow in the upper upper elevations like think Mount Rainier, those top elevations, mid elevations 10 to 20 inches. That's almost two feet of snow. So that's what's coming over the next uh, 48 to 60 hours or so to the Cascade Mountains. Let's take a look at Walla Walla and Hermiston rain mix there. We'll see snow on Thursday in Walla Walla. Again, light accumulations. Anything that does gather in our area will melt because we're going to have that warm up coming into the weekend. So plan for winter driving conditions if you're traveling anywhere out of the region and be prepared for slick roads on Thursday night and Friday morning. All right, well, great for skiers and snowboarders, <laughs> so yes. they can enjoy that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> World News Tonight with David Muir is next. Apple Valley News Now is back tonight at 6, and you can find the latest at applevalleynewsnow.com.